If you look at society and you think about the changes that have happened over the last 10 years, the amount of data and the availability to data is exponentially grown. Since 2015, the number of internet users has increased by 60%. It spans the globe like a superhighway. It is called internet. If you look at data centers and the role they provide in society, for all of the movies and entertainment we enjoy on our cell phones, on our watches, all of that lives in data centers. This summer, an epic heat wave brought California's power grid to the brink of collapse. Heat waves scorching much of the country, and now thousands are in the dark. There's no doubt that climate extremes, combined with digitization of just about everything, are placing a heavy tax on overburdened communities struggling with power. And we all know our hunger for things like streaming, collaboration, and gaming won't be going away anytime soon, even in the face of energy pressures. I'm Doug Adams, President and CEO of NTT Global Data Centers Americas. Today we're looking at data centers, their impact on power grids, and steps we're taking to ensure that the digital world stays on for everyone. So people always ask me, what is a data center? Data centers provide the space, the physical security, the power, and the cooling so that our customers can house their servers in our building. One of the most exciting things about our industry is our ability to deliver content. The complexion of the customers that we serve has changed radically. I can do things on my cell phone now that I couldn't do on a computer just a few years ago. The AI that allows us to examine data sets of x-rays and allows doctors to do more efficient operations wasn't available just a few years ago. All of these things are enabled by data centers. We house all of the important data for AI, for autonomous driving. Anything that you see that's delivered by cloud lives in the data centers. One of the things that I hear now and then is that data centers are huge power users and bad for communities. I would argue the exact opposite. If you take the aggregate customers, you'd find that the average data center is about a 1.8 to 2.0 PUE. Our data centers are highly efficient. We buy about 1.3 watts of power for every watt we deliver to our customer. Therefore, we're providing a very green, sustainable product to our customer so if you look at our larger data centers, they have 32 to 36 megawatts of power, enough power to power 36,000 homes. The power that we use for our infrastructure comes from many different areas, but it all comes from a common source, which is a local power utility company. It's a blend of renewable and non-renewable energy. The efficiencies that modern data centers are designed with allow us to deliver very sustainable power to our customers. We have an entire team that does nothing but look at the carbon footprint that we're producing and how to reduce that. California is a key piece of our platform in the U.S. We keep in very close contact with our local utilities. That way, when there's a utility outage that can potentially happen, we cooperate very closely with them. This is key because it allows us to react in ways that support that power utility. There are times that we'll actually be asked to disconnect from the grid. This summer was the hottest weather ever recorded in Sacramento, California. There is a high risk of energy emergencies this summer, never this big before. When that happened, we actually removed our data centers from the grid and powered our data centers with our generators. Not once was I told we need to not do this. In fact, I was told the opposite. We made sure that we did this without any customer affecting issues. And we were able to save enough power for 30 to 50,000 homes from having to experience rolling blackouts. And I think that we made the community a much better place 
by the fact that we did that. So having spent the last 22 years in this industry, I've seen incredible change. The fact that we have new modern data centers, that enhances our lives. Data centers play a key role in reducing power globally. We actually are good for the environment because the carbon footprint we produce is much less than the carbon footprint that our customers would have produced in their legacy older data centers. This is key for our customers and it's key for our employees to know that they work for a company that's committed to the environment and committed to sustainability.